Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're gonna be looking at my newest custom, which is the Mortal Kombat Noob Sabot. And there goes my lamp. What the heck, come on. And the lamp is back on, and I'm half-blinded. Anyway, this is not based on any particular version of Noob Sabot. It is an original design by me, one of my returning customers, the same customer that got the Weapon X Deadpool. He's actually also a customer. Uh, a customer, a customizer, but he said he wanted me to make him another custom, but he didn't know what he wanted me to make, so he asked if there was anything I wanted to do, and turns out I wanted to make a Noob Sabot figure. So he said, go for it. Sounds like a good idea, so I did, and this is what I came up with. He stands, give or take, about six and a half inches tall. It is dependent on how you pose him of course but roughly six and a half six six and a half to six and a quarter right around there because he is built built he's built on the black panther body and i gave him some wonder man hands and then i resculpted just about everything on the figure um i guess we might as well go through everything i sculpted so the head is completely resculpted other than the eyes i left those because why well, bother resculpting the eyes they were fine i sculpted the entire torso First I shaved it all down so that it didn't end up too, too thick from adding the sculpt on top, and I re-sculpted the entire torso. These little squares or rectangles are actually um, from Black Panther's cape, but I didn't figure there was any point in sculpting those since I could just steal those. Um, then I added a sleeve to each arm. There's a, a, a seam at the top and the bottom of the sleeve. Then he's got a metal bracer type thing and that the, the uh, joint is hidden between those two pieces so you can't tell that really that there's a joint there no matter how you pose it so that's all sculpted sculpted the tie around the waist this is not sculpted obviously this i stole from something else this from one thing this from another and then i put them together obviously and i made that so that if you wanted to pose them like in a kick obviously that's not a good kick but just for example you can rotate this so that it actually hangs appropriately rather than having it always stick out like a uh, well like something we won't go into that and then I sculpted the legs because I wanted him to have the baggy upper part of his pants I know this guy probably looks pretty glossy but that's just due to the heavy lighting I did uh, some of the piece some of the patterns or parts of the pattern have some sheen to them the darker parts I wanted to look more like leather so they're a little bit shinier but they're not as shiny as they look I want to point that out um, so I might as well go on to that right now real quick so this parts darker here and it wraps around through the top of the outfit there and then it comes down this side again right here and then he's got two little panels in the back there that are also the darker color which is not the same dark color as the pants hopefully it doesn't look like it it's really close though and then I made the pants that also because I figured they would look more like they would look better as more of a leather type of thing so anyway I sculpted the pants um, then I added the uh, a wrap that goes around the knee area so it looked like it was tied tight so that the pants weren't baggy anymore and that's where I put the knee pads on those I did not sculpt I took those off of something I don't know what then the pants all the way down are going to be tight to the leg and then I added straps for the sculpted shin armor that I added and then some various buckles here and there that I don't know where those came from and then I sculpted some more uh, metal parts to his boots there Then I resculpted the toes on Black Panther and then I filled in all of the joint peg holes so he doesn't have any joint peg holes anywhere and he is that's pretty much it uh, the head the face mask was quite taxing to sculpt it's such a small piece I mean I know it's a six inch figure so you have an idea but we're talking about less than a half inch at any point really I guess that's about a half inch long there but it's pretty tiny so that wasn't a whole lot of fun I mean it was fun in a way but it was also very, pretty challenging but either way I thought that uh, I wanted to go for more of a simple type of mask and I think it looks pretty good for noob and then for the for the outfit for the uh, upper part of it I wanted it to look more like kind of like a quilted type of design so that it looked like it was a little bit puffy between each of the seams which hopefully you can tell are a lighter gray also than even the lighter part so there's three different shades of gray there and so I put little like uh, stretch marks or pucker marks whatever you want to call that in there and hopefully those are standing out you can probably see them easier on the light colors so I did that uh, what else that's about it for the body. I left the uh, flight stand hole in the back 
so that he can go into like a jumping pose or a, a kicking pose, something like that. Although this figure is, uh, and I left all the articulation uh, intact other than the shin swivel, so he can actually stand in a full kick like that. I'm not going to try to balance him on camera right now, but you can check out the pictures that I'm going to post, and you'll see that thanks to this figure's great articulation, you can really get him in some awesome poses, and it'll look pretty good, I think. So there's that, and then, uh, like you probably saw in the very beginning, in case you don't like having the uh, little hangy down belt thingies, I just made a simple little belt buckle thing that can be pegged in and that gives him a little bit more of a clean look for the belt rotate that so that it's square and there you have it and then even though he doesn't have any weapons in the newest Mortal Kombat game I think maybe he throws some uh, some throwing stars for his fatality I'm not sure but I gave him some Drax knives that I repainted because I thought Drax knives looked fitting for the Mortal Kombat universe and they looked good for a ninja. So I gave him those and I think that they do look pretty cool for noob. So let's get him in a quick pose. I don't know what kind of pose we're going to do. Let's just put that arm out, this arm up, give him his belt because I like the longer belt personally. Get that in there. Put him in a stance like that, and boom, there is Noob Sabot. For the metals, for the metal parts, I used a, uh, I actually used a paint I don't normally use, which is Tamiya. I don't really care for Tamiya paints all that much, typically, but I used it, and it was the uh, Chrome Silver. And I dry brushed that on a couple layers to give it a nice finish. And then for the darker areas, what I did was I used a uh, the Tamiya Smoke paint, which is a clearish, or not clearish, it's a clear black, like a translucent paint. And that gave it a nice, uh, kind of a worn, burnished look. I think burnished is the right word. So I used that for the center parts of the gauntlets there. It probably shows up pretty well on camera, actually. The center part of the face. I used it for the buckle and the knee pads, the center part of the shin armor, and then the buckles for the shin armor as well. So there it is guys, there is my custom Noob Sabot. I've been dying to make this character for a long time. I've had this planned in the works, or this I've had this plan in my mind for a while. It's been in the works for a while too actually. But I'm just, uh, I'm really happy to finally get it done. So let me know what you guys think about it. I'm super excited to have made it. I might end up keeping it and just disappear from customizing altogether so my customer can't find me because I really want to keep this figure. But I probably actually won't do that because I have a reputation to uphold. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more custom figures, more figure reviews, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting. <laughs>